when Steve Hackett joined, it was another another kind of big moment in the Genesis story. Absolutely stunning musician. He could make a guitar sound like any instrument. It was really a, a little bit like being thrown in at the uh, at the deep end. I mean, I'd really been um, a legend in my own bedroom at that point. I, I could. Yes, I could play screaming solos very, very quietly on this little radio that served as an amp, and then suddenly uh, to work with a band. We all met him at Tony's flat, and uh, it was very dark. But he always gave the impression of being very serious, you know, with his black glasses, black hair. I sat down and played uh, three different styles of things to them. And I remember Pete famously saying, I think we can use the first style. I'm not sure about the other two. <laughs> He liked his approach. He was a very accomplished guitarist without wanting to be a sort of a, a flash guitarist at all, you know, and he was interested in sort of combinations and all the rest of it. Literally, and then there were five, and that, that really was the classic band.